Let's compare the XRD pattern for crystalline material and for monatomic gases. We know that in gases, the atoms are frequently changing at positions. So there is no structure periodicity at all. And you even cannot develop the interplanar spacing between atomic planes because the atoms are frequently changing its positions. So we are, when there are no D spacing, no interplanar spacing, so no peaks at all. So this is clearly uh, revealing the information about the atomics arrangement that there are no peaks because there are no periodicity, there are no planes, but there are uh, intensity here and the intensity is higher at lower angle. This is another question that why the intensity is higher at lower angle and the intensity is just decreasing when we increase the angle. Very interesting. I am just coming to clarify this point. Uh, we know in, uh, in the case of amorphous or liquid or a polymer, here we have the broad peak here and that we explained it uh, in this lower theta angle we have greater D because the, 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 there is no uh, smaller uh, interplanar spacing in uh, amorphous material from Bragg's law we can clarify this but in this case there is only intensity here higher intensity the intensity decreases with the uh, increasing angle we know crystalline is very clear that crystalline material have short peaks when, when we have short peaks this means the material is crystalline for these short peaks the Broglie's law is basically satisfied the Broglie's law is satisfied for example this is the uh, reflection of x-ray from atomic plane so if the reflected ray if they are in phases this means that these two rays reflected from the same plane so we get here the peak in xrd if these are not in phases we don't get the peaks and these are the area where we don't get the peaks here another interesting story is in these areas we have greater interplanar spacings this is why we have uh, uh, peaks large peaks here mostly in these small peaks basically means here that we have smaller interplanar spacing here smaller interplanar spacing from Broglie's law this is clarified that uh, lambda divided by 2 sine theta is equal to d here so if we have larger interplanar spacings so we will have smaller theta angle so this means that in these areas we have larger interplanar spacings now let's come toward this point that why we have intensity here this means that at lower at lower theta at lower theta this is basically theta uh, we have uh, strong scattering probability uh, from the single atoms uh, of the monatomic gases as i explained that there is no structure periodicity in monatomic gases and the atoms are arranged in a completely random order and the, the position of the atom change constantly with times so you cannot develop the d a between the atomic planes because the atoms are completely in motion and it's changing with the time because in solid the atoms are fixed there right so this is why we have to develop the interplanar spacing so no maxima at all here in this graph here uh, a regular decrease in intensity absorbed this is the, the, the important thing here. why the intensity is decreasing when the diffraction angle increases here uh, this uh, they, they, they the book basically gives the reason that the graph would be entirely horizontal the, the graph there will be no intensity the graph will be like horizontal like this horizontal the 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 the, 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 the greater intensity will not be here but because of the fact that the atoms scattered x-ray more intensely at lower 2 theta angle. I don't know why the book written this but let me explain this here in the uh, uh, theta to 2 theta arrangement or the theta theta arrangement. If you look here, so let's suppose this is the monatomic gases or whatever. So at lower th theta, this is basically the reflected uh, angle here, uh, this one. the and this is the incident angle so at lower angle uh, there is more chances for the x-ray to uh, scatter for scattering uh, for scattering uh, there, there is a, a greater volume uh, for the x-ray to scatter 
So this is why at lower angle, uh, if we look here the monatomic gas here, so at lower uh, uh, angle, the, the 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 intensity is higher here uh, at lower angle. But even when we just rotate the sample, so this 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 means that the 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 the, the path for the X-ray to travel is decreasing. So there will be less probability for the uh, X-ray to scatter from the uh, atoms. So this is why the intensity is decreasing. And when we bring completely this to the 45 degree, so there will be very less chances for the uh, X-ray to scatter from the uh, uh, atoms. This is the theta to two theta setup here. Similarly, if you look to the theta, t theta setup, so here the sample is picks here, but at lower angle here, this is the lower angle, uh, incident angle or reflected angle, both are same. At lower angle, there is a more probability for the X-ray to uh, scatter. Once we rotate this, uh, the sample is fixed, we rotate this X-ray and when the X-ray tube reach here, so look this thickness and this thickness, you see here? So this is a huge difference, this is why the uh, at lower uh, angle, uh, the, 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 the intensity is higher and it's decreasing with the, uh, increasing the two theta value. So this is basically increasing, when the, when the X-ray tube reach here, so this is not basically your two theta, this whole, it's mean 180, because this is the uh, theta, theta setup. So we proved that at lower two theta, the intensity is higher and it's gradually decreasing with the increasing 